So this has been on my mind a lot. I want to know if it was possible to do a face up with only watercolor paints. I didn't film any of the prepping for this all since I wasn't sure if, if it was gonna work. So I just started straight on the blushing. As I didn't want to bother with any blending, I just went with more of a spot of blush. Something I do in my uh, normal on paper art. And I added it in all the places I normally add blush minus the chin. I'm not gonna go over the process as I normally do, but focus more on the stuff that is different from doing a normal face-up. Instead of white, I went with a yellow for the eyes for a more fantasy type look. I do have a white watercolor, but I didn't know how opaque it would be until later in the face up. But I'm really happy that I went with yellow. Also, I didn't have a sketch, which was a, sh a challenge, which also meant there was a more defined nightmare stage. Since I usually start the eyebrows with pastels, I wasn't looking forward to drawing them on this time, but I think I did pretty well. I decided to add way more dots to the face in different colors to add more of that fantasy look. When it comes to watercolors, uh, some colors are way more opaque than others. So this yellow, for example, is was amazing for covering up small mishaps. But the pink isn't opaque at all. Sure, it's bright at first, but not on top of other colors. And this blue right here, the Van Gogh Cerulean Blue, they say it's semi-transparent, but it doesn't really seem like that as sometimes. Now I really ended up disliking the pink lips, so I just changed it to a green. And now I also tested the white, and I did let the paint soak up quite a lot of water before adding it to my brush, and uh, it worked really well. This was also the first time I sealed in my progress, so you do get a lot of color in just one layer, but of course you can easily reactivate the paint if you don't reseal it.
I don't really want know how to explain the eyes I did. Because instead of a normal pupil, I went more fantasy. Which isn't really a goat and not a squid either. So maybe a mix of the two? I don't know. I just like how to look, to be honest. And mostly off screen, I added some bright orange detail to stand out on the blue eyes, both as a ring around the pupil and the outline of the pupil. Uh, once I was done with the eyes, I didn't want to risk uh, reactivating the paint with glue, so instead of gluing on uh, the lashes, I just painted them on. And after adding some last details and building up some color, I can call this style done. I would say that this went super well, although I'm pretty sure the vinyl is stained. But I don't mind as I'm probably not gonna remove the face up ever again. And I also made sure to seal her extra well since, well, there are watercolors. They can easily come off with water. But I'll definitely be using more watercolors in the future. They were way easier to control than what I thought, and the colors built up way better than I thought as well. I'm probably never gonna do a watercolor only face up again though, although it was a lot of fun.